Welcome to the Orange Kettlebell Club video blog, your spot for weekly wellness and kettlebell sport performance tips and reviews. Today, we are here with Aaron Gayet, okay, who runs Innovative Results in Costa Mesa, California, one of the sickest gyms in the country, period. Master of Sport from last year's Cali Open, 53 reps, respect. Aaron, thank you so much for being here. All right, shirt shout out, obviously goes to this guy and innovative results. And what we're going to be talking about with you today is the lunge matrix and why it's important, why it can benefit your overall training. So Aaron's gonna kick it off. Thank you, Aaron. All right, so I'm just gonna demonstrate the lunge matrix while I'm kind of talking about the whys. So uh, when we're lifting kettlebells, we're stuck in the same motions again and again and again. And we do that on purpose so that we get efficient at those movements and at those movement patterns. However, the issue with that is this chronic movement issue where things tend to bind up around that movement. Your muscles and tendons and joints tend to get really super tight in that particular range of motion. And, and it can actually be hampering not only our performance, but most definitely our normal and natural mobility. Like this hip socket is a ball and socket joint, but we're just here all day, all day sitting in this position. So what I like to do is open it all up and I'll open it up with the lunge matrix. So I'm just gonna go through the lower part of the lunge matrix. You can see it, but if you want a clearer demonstration on which positions to go into, you can go to Innovative Results, all one word, on YouTube, and we have three videos there that dial it in very specifically on how you can do this specific positions in the lunge matrix. But the cool part is, it's four positions that establish this internal rotation in the hip, and then four positions that establish this external rotation in the hip socket where the femur meets the hip. So that's why I love it, is that I'm getting equal parts open and equal parts closed internally for specifically the hip socket so I can open up all the joints in the area where, where it's not opening up. When we're lifting, it's here, I'm stuck here, everything's binding up so I can keep this nice tall and relaxed position but my musculature is binding up around my hips in that position. Or I'm going up, down, and I'm just moving in this range of motion here. I don't get to open up my feet at all right. and turn in any other plane or movement. So now I get to open up when I do the lunge matrix in the frontal plane, <clears throat> break out of that sagittal plane, get, get open in the transverse plane. So I'm really opening my hips to its full potential, it's full range of motion. Thus, through movement, I'm actually healing or help, helping to heal any sort of chronic injuries that I might have from that repetitive movement going through that again and again and again in the jerk or the long cycle. And then obviously the snatch, you get a little bit freer movement. You have that ipsilateral hip rotation, so it opens up a little bit, but it's still, it's not opening up with the femur. Your feet are still planted, firmly and steadily on the ground, and then you're just opening up here just a little bit. So this lunge matrix forces me to open everything up. So if I go further out and deeper into that movement, right, I really get to open up that range of motion in my hips. And the cool part is I get much stronger and much more stable and much more mobile in the movement patterns that I'm doing for competition, be it jerk, long cycle, or snatch. So I love the lunge matrix as a pre warm up or a post cool down type movement. And I use it as a body weight movement to help open things up, get things warm, get things moving so that I can perform at my highest level and stay healthy along the way. Oh, very, very nice. Thank you so much, brother. Absolutely. And uh, so, uh, so basically, because the feet are grounded, and we're basically moving through uh, a closed chain situation versus kind of being up in the air and wiggling things around. Does that have greater carryover into something like uh, kettlebell lifting where we're grounded here and we need to drive? Yeah, absolutely, yeah. Your force production, you have great communication with gravity on the ground through your body and a greater communication, right, that 
automatically translates into kettlebell sport. So you have more force when you're doing your lift because you're doing it in all these different ranges of motion. You're, allowed, you're able to create much, much more force. Another thing that I didn't mention is something that I like to do is try to make a bouncing basketball. So if you think about your foot like it's a bouncing basketball, nothing's more frustrating than trying to dribble a soft basketball because it won't come back up. So if you go too far and you're off balance or it takes you 40 times to get back up to that original position, you probably went too far. You need to work on mobility or stability or strength or power to be able to get back up to that position. And then we like to stay tall and wide so that we're using our abs and our upper back to keep us tall while we're going through those ranges of motion. No, I mean, that totally makes sense. Uh, I'll, I'll start applying mine straight away. Uh, I'm a real big believer in moving in multiple uh, planes, different directions. And uh, I'm quite sure that going through this lunge matrix on a regular basis will allow us, especially in kettlebell sport, if you're using two bells, there's not really a lot of transverse plane rotation taking place. So therefore, being able to train the multiple planes should give us uh, more more power and efficiency actually just moving in the simple sagittal plane because it's so simple now for the brain versus all of the work that now it's used to doing in the multi-planes. Absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah. Awesome. Totally. Cool. Thank Aaron. you very much. Aaron Guyet. <laughs> hey, a big shout out to uh, Coach Dolby. Hey, he is the reason why I am a master of sport. And so my hat goes off to you. I bow to you. Oh, brother, I appreciate it, man. Uh, thank you so much, brother. Much love. Thank you. I'm Jason Dolby. This is Aaron Guyette, owner of Innovative Results with Corey Beasley. And thank you so much for tuning in. This has been the Orange Kettlebell Club video blog, and we will see you next time.